Good morning, everybody, on another great day. And uh, before I carry on, I'd just like to say thank you to Brian, who was kind enough to put a like on my um, channel yesterday. And I'll just put a little number out there, see you, let you know how these views are going. I got seven views yesterday, so seven lovely people were kind enough to stop on by, and thank you very much for that. Um, so what comes to mind today, and I'll first start and have a little practice. I think this is week so we can all do. Think of three things to be grateful for. So I'll think of my three things, and I've already said one of them. That was Brian being kind enough to stop on by. The second one was to get some slates together. So I'm grateful to bring those into creation. And my third thing, which funny enough, was just doing a bit of a clear out of an old humongous laurel bush in a corner of our garden. So I, I took um, the old a little bit cutting instrument to bring that down to size a little bit. It's still enormous, but um, we'll give it a little bit of a, a trim. Maybe not a number one, maybe a number three it's had, uh, but it's still massive. Um, so those are my three little things. What are you grateful for? Let me know in the comments below what three things that you're grateful for today. Um, on that note, I'm going to come up to, I've got a card today, and it's one I don't use very often. It's um, something in a magazine, but I kind of like this one. It goes, I marvel in the magical mysteries of the stars as I gaze up at them in awe. So when you think of the stars above us, so you don't have a hard job seeing them today because it's rather cloudy out there, but it gives us all a sense of perspective of where we truly are in this wonderful universe and it makes us feel very insignificant, doesn't it, when we see it stretching on into infinity, basically, and that's in time as well as in this space because this is what people don't realize when you're looking at the stars you're looking at an echo of something that's happened probably millions of years ago you never actually see the current position because you'd have to look past on the art of time travel and i think we're somewhere short of that in not in a physical sense anyway our souls can do it but um, actually yeah physical bodies probably never going to happen if i'm honest with you um so have a think of that in that perspective of where you are right now because we can put ourselves in a position where oh, this, everything's rubbish right now, nothing ever moves, and you're wrong. Everything is moving. Um, your body's moving. Your energy's moving. The planet's moving. The solar system's moving. The whole darn universe is moving. So you never truly stay still, even though at times you may get into those periods of stagnation. And remember, you are a little universe in yourself, your physical body. Imagine how huge you are to a tiniest little microbe gently trundling through your energy system. You're vast, you're enormous. So when you think of all the other people you interact with and how vast you are to them, or sort of like, you know, to those microbes, I mean, encapsulating into a huge kind of like energy system of its own. So imagine yourself in all those different scenarios putting yourself into perspective and realising the huge impact that you actually have on everything around you and those tiny little things that you do in your life echo throughout the universe. So there's something here to think about today. I shall stop now and see what um, thoughtful pose I can come up with from my kind of like, you know, YouTube thumbnail. Oh, good fun, actually. I will probably do one like this. <laughs> but anyway, I've waffled on enough. Have a beautiful day. Catch you soon.